Hello awesome people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Solomon and thank you very much for clicking. In today's video, me and you are going to learn how we can design this calendar in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so this is a 2024 calendar that I did for a mile forestry company. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the process that I used to achieve this result in Adobe Photoshop. You can see that I have all the year under one calendar and also i have the three divided okay so the three months each making it four so at the end of the day when we printed it out it's going to be something like this okay so let's launch our photoshop app and start learning this in adobe photoshop by the way you can print this one as a4 a3 a2 but i'm going to design it in a3 form and also you can get this psd file from my digital store okay you see it over here and you can get it to help us in one way or the other also please don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you are new here and turn on the post notification bell so that you my friend will never miss other interesting video like this in the future okay so i have a lot in a way coming i have this branding design that i want to share with you this citation design okay so without further ado let's create a new document and then let's go to print and select a3 from here so i'll select a3 and you can give it a name over here let's say calendar and click on create you are going to have a new canvas like this you can click on ctrl plus o to fit everything to screen then from here you can see from here that we have this kind of shape going on here okay so let's start by creating this shape and this shape okay so first of all, I'll choose my pen tool. Okay, so you can click on P or you can come here and select the pen tool. All right, so from here, I'll click once here and dab once here. Okay, so from here, I'll dab one here and come and dab another one here close to the top. I'll do the same thing here. And then I'm going to end it here. Okay, so I'll just click on it to end it. Make sure you have the pen selected. Okay, then from here, I will change this one from the pen to the regular pen to, to the Kvega pen to, okay, to, you know, kind of make that shape. So I'll click and drag this one up and I'll bring this guy in. Okay, so let's do it once more. So I'll just bring this guy here, something like this, okay. And you can take your time to find in the small details. I'll also push this guy here and also bring this guy down as well. So I'm going to get something like a flag and I'll click on shape over here to make a shape out of it. Then from here, let me select back my pen to the regular pen to and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to create another point here and bring my bar here then from here let's change this one to the camera pen tool again and move this guy here bring this guy here okay so you see what like i'm trying to do over here i'll go back to my regular pen tool and close the gap then i'll go back to the camera pen tool and i'm going to move this guy up and move this guy down so here, all you need to do is to just take some time to find it in the small details. Once you are satisfied with the results, click on this one to make a shape out of it. I'm going to take the same process to do another one on top here. From there, I'll come back. All right, so once we complete this one, okay, then we can move forward okay so with this one let me select this one Control plus j to make a duplicate or we can just click on this one and bring it here to make a duplicate so let's try it click and drag it here and you can see it is two now so i'm going to move one on top okay just like this and i'll move this one we need the other one and then with this one selected i'm going to bring in the image that i'm going to use okay all right, so let's say this is the image that I'm going to use. Then I'm going to transform it, Control T for free transform, and then I'm going to do it this way. And from here, I'll right click and create a clipping mask. 
all right so from here too i'm going to change the color of this one to a light green something like this and we can also move it a bit further and we can also move this guy a bit further or so next i'm going to add a color to this one that's a gradient so let's go to fx over here and add a gradient overlay with a gradient overlay i'm going to open this one go all the way down and let's choose a gradient like this okay then let me come here and select red down i will select linear here and then i'm going to change this one from reverse so i'm going to get something like this so let me open this guy again and let's see let me choose a different gradient i think something like this is okay so let me open the color code for you guys so this is the first one and this is the second color code as well all right so from here i'll click on ok and add a drop shadow to this one let me reduce the opacity of the drop shadow click on ok and then let's duplicate this one onto the other one right right click and copy the layer style select the other one and paste the layer style boom we are going to have the same effect at the top as well and also i'll select my background and click on add a new layer then with the new layer selected i'm going to pick my rectangular marquee tool and then i'll create something like this okay then from here let me select the eyedropper by clicking on eye to sample a color from here and then with the help of the brush tool we can make it big by using the square bracket or right click and select general brushes select the soft round brush and also you can increase the size of it so you can use the square bracket on the keyboard to you know increase this one and we can just paint a color over here okay or let's undo what we can also do is to go to the gradient tool over here and then let's choose a gradient like this one and then so you choose the a color to opaque gradient and then we can just click to make a gradient from here okay so we can click from here and make it up to the top if you have it the other way make sure you have reverse check here okay so let me do it once more all right so once you're satisfied go to select and then deselect the selection okay shortcut is ctrl d all right so this is the name of the company the logo and the year under review so i think this is too big so let me select everything and reduce the size okay so first of all let's select only this one plus this and let's reduce the size a bit or we can also move it just at the top okay so we can move this one a bit at the top and we can send these guys up there all right also you can see we have the years over here that's the calendar the date on it okay so with that one i downloaded something from the internet and i got it as ai that's adobe illustrator so i'm just going to open it make some little changes over there to see the color that i'm using then from there i can just bring that in into my calendar and boom we can be out of here all right so this is the date that we have over here you can see that i have arranged everything and changed the colors so you can select a specific shape and change the colors you can select you can change the font so it is editable okay by the way maybe i will leave a link in the description below for you guys to download this if you know how to use illustrator but if you don't know how to use illustrator i also have a course on it but it's on my youtube channel i'll link it up here and also in the description below for you guys to check it out so you can also know how to use adobe illustrator for free but please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here leave me a comment below if you are enjoying this video so i will copy all of these guys here so just make a selection and just move that one into photoshop so make sure this one is open and leave it wait for it to load once it's done just click on this one to accept changes 
and we can just bring these guys here okay and also from here i added the holidays okay so i type everything i got go the holidays in ghana and everything is like here so quickly i'm going to add that one so we can move forward as well all right so from here if you add the holidays this is how it's going to look like and you can take this procedure to do the rest of them and also if you want to do all of the dates under one calendar this is how you are going to do it Control plus n to create a new document then i'll select a3 and let's say i'm using the same information so i'll just uh, click and drag these guys here hold down the shift key and let's reduce the size of this okay so you see the problem that we are facing here the images is destroying so we can just delete the images and bring only the image alone so we can just click and drag this one here and create a clipping max okay as always and we can position this one to future everyone then from here we can go to adobe illustrator and i will select this one which is four months on a row so I'll click and drag this one into Photoshop, wait for it to load. So after it loads, it will look like something like this. So I'll bring this guy here and also do my possible best to, you know, bring or create a space beneath over there to add the holidays. All right. So if we add the holidays, this is how it is going to also look like. Okay. All right. So this is how I used to create this calendar in adobe photoshop and afterwards i created a mock-up myself to, you know put this one in a mock-up and this is the final outcome so if you also want to see how i created this mock-up you let me know in the comment section and i'll consider making a video out of it expect more from personal creation until next time keep creating and never give up